So today's video is going to be a really exciting one, at least for me, it will be. In today's video, I am going to be unboxing the Baby Lock Brilliant Sewing Machine. I bought this with my own money. It is a huge upgrade. I was sewing on the Singer Heavy Duty 6830, I believe is what it's called. So I upgraded big time to the Baby Lock Brilliant. So I'll show you guys what comes in the box. I'll show you how to thread the machine. This is going to be my first time playing with it. So if you want to see all of that, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on the budget. I do Cricut, Sublimation, and now sewing videos. If any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family, and let's jump into this video. So when you open the box, on the top, there's the foot. This is the presser foot that comes with it. Um, although you do have the option of not using the presser foot because it does have a stop and start button. So this is the presser foot. Um, then there's also um, an extra spool cap and spool holder if you're doing like the double thread thing. Okay. So it also comes with a big packet and then this packet has Um, just some information on the different baby lock machines and then it has it tells you how to thread it has a whole diagram telling you how to thread it and it has pictures and instructions which is really nice and handy it tells you how to wind the bobbin and how to thread the needle as well um, and then it has a quick reference guide um, that just seems to tell you Again, how to thread the walk, um, how to wind the bobbin, all the different accessories that you can, that it includes, as well as the ones that you can get that are just extra, you know, optional. It also tells you all the different stitches because this machine has a lot. I think it's like 1,700 different stitches. It has a, a lot of different stitches. It even comes with letters. So you can type out a message, which is really, really cool. It has a lot of different decorative stitches, a lot of different buttonhole stitches, um, which is really, really cool. So it comes with that. It comes with the, it also comes with the bigger instruction manual that tells you step by step different things, how to put a walking foot, um, how to resolve tension issues, how to place the presser foot, just a big, nice, handy, Book that has a lot of pictures which is really nice um, especially for someone who's never played with a machine it also has some troubleshooting in here so it tells you how to troubleshoot things and again it has lots of pictures which makes it super super nice so um, then it has this cardboard inside Side of this cardboard is the knee foot um, what's really nice about this is that instead of having to reach back all the time to lift up your presser foot you can just put this in and then you can use hit your knee hit it with your knee and it will lift up the presser foot which is really really nice and handy In the box, we also have this bag, and in this bag we have, oh, that's kind of like a nice little bag. Um, we have an extra little um, opening for your bobbin. There's, I'm going to show you guys, there's too many things I'm going to show you up close and personal because that's too much to hold up. But it also, one thing I really like is that it also comes with a walking foot. My singer didn't come with a walking foot. I had to buy that separately. This one comes with the walking foot, which is just amazing. So this is the walking foot. If you don't know what a walking foot is, it helps 
it helps when you have thicker layers or you're quilting and things like that and it helps so it has like feed dogs kind of like your machine has in the bottom and it helps both the layers kind of come in evenly so that you're not skipping stitches and things like that so i love that um it comes with the plug to plug in the machine so most sewing machines or at least my singer had the power cord connected to the presser foot but this one's separate it's kind of nice um it also comes with the dust cover so it has this this one's nicer than the one my singer had um nothing fancy just a dust cover to put it on and it has you can put the handle there grab the handle through that and that seems to be everything that's in the box now i'm going to take you up close and personal to see the machine itself so this is how it looks outside of the box up here in this nice little hidden compartment you have a lot of your stitches and it kind of tells you the numbers that they are so that you can find them um the rest of your stitches are in that book um it kind of gives you a quick reference to the different um typefaces that you can use for the little messages up here is where your thread go you goes you have your thread cap this is where you would thread your machine which we'll go over in a little bit this is where your um you wind your bobbin and then down here here you can control your speed you can also use your foot pedal but if you want to slow it down you can bring it this way if you want to speed it up you can go that way what i really loved about this machine is that it cuts your thread so you can press that and it will cut your thread instead of having to bring your thread around and snip it it does have a place to snip your thread right here but that's just much better this is the button where you use to lift and lower your needle this button right here is pretty cool so what this button does is that when you press it it will stitch a few stitches in the same area and it will close it off in the bottom so it's good for places where you don't want your back stitch to kind of show so you know what your back stitch you can kind of tell where you back stitch because there's an extra row of stitches with this one you won't be able to tell that it sealed off you know or tied a knot in that spot which is really really nice um right here is for back stitching right here there's a start and stop button in case you don't want to use your presser foot you can unplug your presser foot and then use the start and stop button to start sewing and stop sewing on the side over here this i'll show you what it does but this helps you thread your machine it's an automatic thread threader and then in here just like a lot of sewing machines okay you have your accessories where it holds your accessories and it's really cool it has this little tray here and in the tray um each foot has a letter so this is like your button buttonhole foot um i don't know all of them but here's your zipper foot and they all have letters to identify them the j foot's already on the machine which is your basic foot um this is your button to sew in your button foot and then right here is just a little seam ripper, which can come in handy. And then it comes with four extra bobbins. Um, I believe it takes class 15 bobbins. Um, so that's really kind of nice. Um, something that's also really nice about this machine is that when you put in a stitch, it's going to tell you which foot you need. So it will tell you you need the R foot or the J foot or the A foot, which is really, really handy. So that fits nicely in there. It has a nice big handle to carry it. On this side, you have, on this side, you have your your manual handle to turn your needle your on and off power switch and where you plug it in is down here on the back um on the back what is also really nice is it has another compartment back here 
so that you can put more accessories. Like I can put the walking foot that it came with back here, which is really, really nice. And I really do like that. Um, also, one thing I was worried about is that it didn't have a free arm, but it does. So you just take this off and you have a free arm so you can work with sleeves and things like that, which is super nice. But also this machine just has a lot more room up here. You have a nice big, I think it's about eight inches right here. Nice big throat to put in your fabric when you're working, which is really nice. In the back, it does have the lever to move the presser foot up and down, which is handy and most machines have that. I guess now we can show you what was in here. So again, it has the bob, it came with the bobbin thing. It also came with this, what looks like a screwdriver. I don't really know what this is for. Um, it came with some extra needles. Oh, this is a twin needle. It came with a twin needle which is nice i've never used a twin needle i'm super new to sewing it came with i think this is the motion the free motion foot which is really really nice for free motion quilting um it has a little brush to help you clean inside your bobbin case um so this is a adjustable zipper piping foot so it came with a uh, came with the one fourth quilting foot came with a stitch guide foot which looks like that it came with some extra noodle noodles <laughs> came with some extra needles came with a screwdriver to help um take out some of your screws in your machine came with the straight foot and needle plate sets. Man, it came with a lot of stuff. It has an extra thread cap. Um, it has another one, smaller size. Um, it came with an open toe foot, a thread spool insert, mini king thread spool l-shaped screwdriver and a disc shaped screwdriver which would might be easier for like right here for these screws right here in your plate and then a, a spool net so that's everything that it came with accessory wise um this thing right here is let's see what it is it's an eyelet punch i'm not quite sure what it does so i can't attest to this too much but that's what it came with um we're gonna turn it on now so i can show you some things so right here in the screen it has some settings i don't know all the settings but you can do i thought this feature was really cool so you see this right here and this right here so what that does is that when you stitch um when you start stitching it will do three stitches back three stitches forward and then when you press the back stitch the reverse stitch right there it's going to stitch three stitches forward three stitches back and then it's going to cut the thread which is really nice and will save you time um and like i said earlier if you picked a stitch so as you notice, all the stitches on top have like different symbols. So those symbols are going to be on your screen down here. They're right here. So you would, let's say we want to do stitch 10. You would hit that symbol that you see up there and then you would press the numbers and it will tell you that you need the J foot for that. Or if you wanted to do a decorative stitch, let's say we want it. We wanted to do, I don't know, zero one one in the decorative stitch. It will tell you that you need an end foot for that. And it will kind of show you what the sequence of the stitch will look like. Right here, you can change your stitch width. And then right here, you can change your sti stitch length. 
which is really nice. Your, there's also settings where you can program how sensitive these buttons are, which is really, really nice. And yes. So I'm gonna, let's thread this together for the very first time and wind our bobbin and go through that process together. So I decided I'm gonna go with this color. I'm just going to pick a random one just to kind of go over it together. And it kind of tells you, there's a picture up here that tells you which way, let me show you. It tells you which way the thread is supposed to go, which is this way. So I'm gonna take off this cover right there and put in my thread. gonna hold it in like that and we're gonna take our bobbin hopefully we just snap it on so it says to place the empty bobbin right here and it has numbers on it kind of directing you where to go so you're supposed to take it and it's gonna go over to where it says one on the side so one goes down like that and then it goes under and then we're gonna bring it over this way and it's gonna come through there. Then bring it to the left of this little tension disc and bring it under that. Then we're gonna bring it over. So you bring it over, pull it a little bit and turn it about five times. And then, so it says, follow the thread path to the bobbin. There's a place underneath and it just clips off. So there's a little, kind of like a little, can you see it? It's like a little, little gap in there that you put it in there and it clips it off for you. So now we're gonna turn our bobbin just like you would any other machine to the right. It's gonna click in and then we press the start button to activate the bobbin. So once it is full, it will stop and then you just press the stop button. It will stop spinning. So now we're gonna slide this to the left. So you hear that click. So it says lift the bobbin off the base and cut the thread with the built-in cutter in the bobbin winders. So you can just you can just take it and just bring it into that little gap like we did earlier and it should no it should just trim the thread for you and then it says to press this right here this button right here let me for this, you have to connect the presser foot. Let's connect it right here on the side. So we're just gonna press that. We're gonna put our bobbin that we just threaded into the slot over here. There's a little lever that you kind of slide over. You're gonna take your bobbin and you're gonna make sure it's in a P. So it goes like that and your thread is coming down this way. You're gonna slide the bobbin just like that into your into your thing. And then you're gonna take the thread and it has little guides in there that are going to tell you. So it has, you bring it this way, around this way, and then through this curve and at the end of this curve, it's gonna trim it off for you, which is really nice. And now all you gotta do is just put this back on. It has a little corner there, you slide it in there and then you press down. Super easy compared to my other machine. So now to thread your needles, you're gonna need to make sure your presser foot is up. Mine is up, I just put it up, make sure it's up. Make sure your needle is at the highest position. I think I can undo that. Make sure your needle is at the highest position, which it is, and I just press this needle button for that. It's already up here in the two. 
So we're gonna take it around, cause remember it went up around this one, down below this tension disc. Now we're gonna bring it this way instead of the way we were bringing it, all the way down to three right here. It's gonna go up like in a U. So you're going up, you're gonna go to four, and then it's going to go around. There's a tension disc there. It's going to go back down to five. Let me get you closer so you can see this part. Okay. So now you're going to go down to five. Bring it down to five. Six is right here where the needle is. Most sewing machines are like this. So you bring it behind that. Okay. So there's a tension disc right there. Now you're gonna bring it, there's a number seven right here in this little like gray area. You're gonna bring it up that way and it's going to kind of rust on it. Then on the side, there's the little slit where it cuts the thread. You're going to bring the thread right here on the side of the machine. It's going to trim it. And then you're gonna press this lever Ready for the magic? You're gonna press the, and your needle is threaded. You can see it's nice and threaded. Isn't that so cool? I wish my singer had that. Okay, so now we're just gonna attempt to just stitch a regular straight stitch and see how that goes. I'm gonna do a straight stitch in the middle, which I think is four. So I think. So it says I need my J foot, which I already have. And now I'm just gonna get some scrap fabric so we can try it out. Okay, so I just have a spare piece of fabric. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that I put my presser foot down when I'm sewing. Um, I'm just gonna do a straight stitch. Okay, so you can see it did a really nice stitch. Now I'm just gonna fold up, fold up this fabric a few times so you can see how cool this machine is that it can go through so many layers of fabric. So I'm just going to put down my presser foot and I'm just gonna stay in the same settings. Put my presser foot down. up my presser foot and you see it went through all those layers with no trouble at all so i'm super excited about this machine it was a huge investment i'm gonna be playing with it a lot you will see it on my channel a lot so let me know what you guys think about my new sewing machine it like i said huge investment but i'm so happy and proud that i can even get it um i'm truly blessed um but yes, let me know down below if you guys have a baby lock, what toy machine you guys like, and your favorite things to sew. And there will be some sublimation and sewing videos coming soon. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the bell notification button.